Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 22 with B1908 and this video is starting a little bit earlier in the season than I was expecting because big news we have a job offer from Kings Lynn in the Valorama National League they're a professional team they are in a little bit of money problem at the moment so we, uh, we're going to have to work some magic with some free transfers and stuff like that. We might not even have the wage budget to work within, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. And I feel like I've done everything I can for B1908. So I think I will probably leave and take this job because it seems really good. I mean, I was on nothing. I was on an amateur contract. Now we're going to be on 625 a year, a week, a week. A year, I don't know where that came. That's a terrible um, salary, six two five a week, uh, which is pretty damn good. We're getting a new stadium built. We've got we've got a lot of exciting things that will happen with this club. So I'm not sure about Kings Lynn. I'll probably do some research on my own um, just before uh, the next video to see what I know about the club because. I, I know nothing about the club, so <laughs> it's going to be uh, fun. Um, I, they may be near, I'm not sure where Kingsland is, they may be near uh, about where I am uh, in the country, but I don't think they are. Um, but yeah, so big things happening here. But before I go, I just wanted to have a look at, um, we've brought in some people. Just, we're not going to see him play, but we've brought in some good talent. Brought in an attack and midfield player who's 18 and is our best attack and midfield player in the team. Uh, brought in a goalkeeper who is quite a bit above um, Thorup and Rasmussen. And we've also brought in a left mid who's 18-year-old, absolute beast of pace. He's going to be really good. So we brought those guys in. The, the squad now looks like this. So we've got Christensen going straight in there, taking Sari out and we'll swap with Lodberg um, every other game. Henriksen now in there as he's in the, in the wrong position. I think it's winger support he plays best as. Yeah. And that's the squad that I'm going to leave in the capable hands of whoever gets hired next. Um, I just want to have a look at the, the kind of history w with this squad at the moment. Um... We've done really well where we uh, started off and where we we uh, ended up sort of thing. So if we have a look at the uh, history, competitions, um, not honours, just need third division. So we started off this season here, third division, 22-23, and we finished seventh, which was we were uh, only just promoted up that season when we got hired and we are expected to be relegated. Um, played pretty well, won 12 games, drawn 11, lost 9. There was a lot of drawn games in that season. Like, we played all right, like, for the first season. I thought we, we held our own. Then, the season after, which was last season, we came third. So close to second place, getting an opportunity for promotion. Won 16, drawn 8, lost 8. Really well played um, season. A lot of players made their way into, like, the Hall of Fame, so to speak. Um, I, actually, do we have the uh, best 11? So if you have a look, like a lot of the players on this team were from the season before. We've got Palm, um, we've got Winther, Boltzer. We've got Pedersen from two seasons ago. I mean, he was a fairly decent keeper for us and he's gone on to play for VRI who aren't in a league, but he's played okay, uh, as you can see. He's not quite up to scratch, but he played well for us. Played 20, only conceded 22, um, 6.93 uh, rating. We'll miss the lad. Um, Jasper Rasmussen, uh, I'm surprised, hasn't taken his place um, so far. Maybe just because he's played less games for the for the um, first team. Not by, not by far. But yeah, um, we've brought in a lot of young talent, uh, unfortunately, some have left because they don't think that they're good enough. So, like, Kevin Agurd was an absolute hero for us for, uh, was it three seasons? Like, because this was the current season. We played him for two games, and then he said, I, I want to go and get a chance somewhere else. He's playing non-league now. Two goals, two assists out of 22 games. I mean, his best season by far was his first season with us. Four goals, six assists, played absolutely fantastic, and he did taper off. But he's young. 
He's young and he's only 18 at the moment. He'll definitely improve and be a player to watch. He might even be a player that we could bring in um, later on if if needs be for that sort of like playmaker position. It's always nice to have a player that you've played with before. Um, so yeah, overall, this squad has been fantastic. And I will, I'm kind of half in the mind of we're starting to get our form back. We can probably get up into the top half of the league, but we don't know who's going to be um, poached from us in the next two months. It's going to be a difficult um, season and it's going to be the same next season because we're not going to get promoted this season. There's too many teams that come down and jump straight back up from the uh, League 2. So I think it's time to move on. This club has given me when I got fired from my previous club in disgrace, they've given me a, a platform to get, improve and go on to the next um, challenge. And so very thankful for that. Thank you, B1908. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing where they, what they do at the end of this season. See, I'll, I'll check them out uh, at the end of the season, see what happens. But we are also joining at the perfect time for Kings Lane because it's is transfer time. Jan 2nd of January we'll be taking this. Um, contract, I'm happy with whatever they give me. Uh, raise, raise, wage rise and drop, that's fine. If we get relegated, we won't have to worry about a wage drop because we'll be gone. They want to work within the wage budget. I'm okay with that. Uh, last time I had a wage budget. We've been working amateur at the moment, but last time I had a wage budget, we, um, we worked within that. Uh, unfortunately, we were... Uh, fired even though we did that but uh, i'm sure we can do that they're building a new stadium which is going to be awesome uh mid table from where they are at the moment i think that's uh currently where are uh, kings in they're mid table and they're doing fairly well for them this this season 27 games 34 points so we're coming into a team that has already got quite a lot of momentum about them so that i'm more than happy to say yep yeah. fa cup i don't think we're in anymore because they're not judging it FA Trophy reached the third round. I mean, I'm not sure with the FA Trophy um, where they are or who they've got that they're going to play, but we'll just go for it and hope that we don't have anyone too hard. Uh, work towards recording a top half finish at the end of next season and then top half finish at the end of the season after and then maintain a top. So they're not even looking for promotion in the next five years. Uh, just for a top half finish in the non-league. So if we can build a team and uh, that can get a promotion within the next two years, they're going to be absolutely ecstatic. So hopefully this will be... Let's have a look at club info. Uh, finances are insecure. Stadium, walk stadium. I'm pretty sure the stadium's going to change as well because they've got a new one on the go. But yes, I'm happy. Let's go and join Kings Lynn. How exciting. The news is in. Kings Lynn Town hire Scribbles. Uh, in a move that's sure to spark plenty of heated debate, Sir Scribbles has left B1908 to join Kings Lynn. Uh, Scribbles arrives with a record of 50 wins, 34 draws and 46 defeats in his career. At least our wins is higher now, because when we left Eindhoven, it was more defeats and draws than wins. So I'm, I'm happy we're at least at that point. Um, Flyed on the fourth. Wait. We've got a game like literally, oh, because we don't have the break, do we, in um, in the uh, National League, which will be nice because it's a long old break, but also we're going to have to go straight into a game in like two days, I think it is. Um, so we're going to be facing uh, B1908, hopefully we'll find a new manager. I prefer the 442 formation, uh, who famously knocked Dullum out of the uh, cup. That was our biggest win. Um, hopefully these guys are okay with a 442. Uh, let's have a look at what they say. We got knocked out in the second round of the FA Cup, so they're not judging me on that. Transfer budget is minus three thousand pounds. Wage budget thirteen grand. Um, club history: we've won, we've won some trophies. Uh, League North. Oh, they won it recently as well. So they recently promoted up from League North. Okay, so that means they're definitely not near where I live because I'm, I'm in the South area. So, no idea where Kingsland is, but I will look it up. And this is the squad. We've got Davies, Clement, Rawlinson, Olagungju, Mills, McBride, Young, Coleman, Barrett, Fondrop, and Vince Carus. I think that's how you say it. 
interesting. And we have loan obligations. Uh, we've got quite a lot of people loaned to us, which if we're paying their salaries, I might get rid of. I might bin off and then do a bit of a search on the free transfer market. Uh, we already know all of our expectations. Um, so we are going to, yeah, we want to meet the media, arrange uh, to meet the backroom staff. I'll do every month. We don't want that too often. And we are in. So let's have a first look at our salary. Wage budget is minus 1,045. Ew, that's going to be an issue. We can't even bring people in. So we're going to have to look at getting rid of people before we can even start bringing people in. Um, maybe some of our loanees, if we're paying loan contracts 75 per week, it's not really enough to make a dent in it. 220 per week we're paying for this guy, Shay Wilcock. He's been injured from the looks of it. Uh, five weeks, he's scored 10 goals for us though. Ah. We don't probably want don't want to get rid of our goal scorer. <laughs> Actually, that's a good thing to check. Who's our top goal scorer? It is him. So and Fondrop with nine. Uh, Fondrop, Fondrop, Fondop. There you go. <laughs> Mike Fondop. There you go. I can't pronounce him. And then Jack Young, who's a midfielder for us. We're paying three seven five. I mean, the thing is, if we get rid of a couple of these loans, we're already making a bit of a better dent in our um. Uh, what's it called in our uh, what's it called what am I talking about uh, contracts in our like wages let's have a look at who's getting paid the most Bailey Clements our left back is he the best left back in the club by quite a way yeah we can get rid of him though then he basically and one of our loanees we basically zeroed out our our problems. Zach Mills is a regular starter. Right back. He looks like a fairly good right back. Okay. So what I'm going to do away from camera. So I just wanted to do this like video. It's going to be a short one just to say we're in. And we're going to figure out our best squad. And then we're going to um, see if we can drag Kings Lynn out of the, uh, the debts that they're in. And also see if we can... Uh, continue to make a good impression uh what i will do let's have a look at the schedule so look at that they've had a really good run of um run of games they knocked out ebsfleet who are my favorite team by the way ebsfleet are an absolute uh, awesome team i don't know who any of their players are anymore because of how how through the season we are um uh through the years even that we are but like i used to go see ebsfleet all the time uh, when I was younger. Uh, not that I even lived that near to them. I was about an hour and a half away, but it's just a team that I, for some reason, started watching, and they're fun to watch because they're proper grassroots football. Um, so, yeah, overall, not bad results. We need to get a few results here. What I think I might do is get January done, and we'll come back for the Torquay York games. Um, so you, I'll get kind of used to the team in these four games, and then we'll come back and you guys can see where we are, if we've made any sales, any purchases of players. Um, yeah, and we're at the fourth round of the FA Trophy, what we're expected. Um, third round minimum. So we've already reached our goal for the FA Trophy, so we don't have to beat Maidenhead, but they are a league below us. I would uh, kind of hope that we would be good enough to beat these guys. They don't even have a full squad. So chances are we might be able to make a bit of an effort there as well um, and have a bit of a cup run, which will bring some money in as well with the FA Trophy. So yeah, um, exciting times on this playthrough. I'm glad we have moved out of um, amateur and into professional football because the amateur football is getting really frustrating having my players just taken away from me all the time. Um, so at least we can now make a little bit of money off good players that we're signing. I'm probably going to get my scouts going out there and getting some stuff done um straight away we might even be i might even pinch some from b1908 depends on how how good they are compared to some of my players um but yeah uh we'll come back um in 
February and have a look at these games and have a look where we are if we've signed any players and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think I should do in the comments if you have any uh, suggestions. And um, yeah, come back next time to see what's happening. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you when I see you.